Hi everyone, we've got a quick one for you today. We're going to do an example problem finding the properties of superheated steam for constant temperature and pressure. We're not going to do any interpolation in this one. We're just going to basically show how to use the thermodynamic tables um, and how to keep track of units properly in this type of a problem. So here's the problem statement. Um, what is the specific volume, enthalpy, and entropy of steam at 250 degrees Celsius? and 500 kilopascals. So again, pretty straightforward. We've got some clean temperatures and pressures here. Um, no tricks, no major surprises. Um, the first step in this type of problem is try to determine, are we in the superheated steam region, right? Usually these problems don't tell us. We have to figure that out. Are we superheated? Is this a saturated mixture? Is this a compressed liquid? Um, we have to use the conditions to figure that out. So what we do is we go to our, our steam tables. In this case, we'll go to the saturation table um, denoted for pressure. So in this case, you can look up by pressure what the saturation temperature is, um, which will allow you to determine whether we're in that superheated region. So a couple things to keep in mind. The first, uh, remember that 100 kilopascals is equal to one bar. So sometimes our tables are in bars, so if we're given units in kilopascals, we just have to make that conversion. The other thing to keep in mind is that for a given pressure, if we increase the temperature above the saturation temperature, we enter into the superheated steam region, right? And this makes sense if we think about it. So if you're at atmospheric pressure, for example, and you keep heating water past the boiling point, which is the saturation temperature, at atmosphere pressure, then we will produce steam, right? Water will convert into steam. So to zoom in on that table a little bit, these are some saturation pressures and the associated saturation temperatures. Um, we can see that at five bar, our saturation temperature is 151 degrees Celsius. So if we're at 250 degrees Celsius, we safely know that we are in a superheated uh, steam region. And the second step is just finding the proper pressure and temperature in the superheated steam tables and pulling out the proper values, right? So next we go to our superheated steam table, in this case for 5 bar, um, since we are at 500 kilopascals, um, and we find the proper temperature, in this case 250 degrees C, which you can see um, is located down here. So all the values that we need are in this line of the table. Um, We've got our specific volume, our density, specific enthalpy, um, specific internal energy, and specific entropy. Uh, one thing to note here is that the specific volume is given with this times 10 to the third. What that means is the proper value has been multiplied by 1,000, 10 to the third, to give you the value in the table. So to report the proper value, we have to take the value in the table and divide it by 1,000. Kind of confusing. Um, some of the tables do this. Um, just got to think through it to get the right values. So we'll zoom in on the specific line in the table. Again, this gives us all the values that we need. And the final step is just reporting values and checking our units. So our specific volume, again, we've divided the value in the table by 1,000 to get 0.47432 cubic meters per kilogram. Our specific enthalpy is 2,960.1 kilojoules per kilogram. And our specific entropy is 7.2699 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Again, no, no tricks in this problem. Just got to use the tables properly, keep track of units, check the units. Um, we'll, co we'll cover interpolation in another video. If you have any questions, post them in the chat. If you have any requests for future videos, also put those in the chat.